I think we go for the rock slide because they protect the Torkoal. Yes. Okay. We had to go for the rock slide to cover both bases here. Clutch Bomb connects. Good damage. Rock slide. Obviously not going to hit the Torkoal. Can we flinch the Farigaraf? Because that's going to be crucial. No, we can't. Okay. What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC Climb video. Today, we're rocking Meganium. I am so excited. This is what's called Meganium Z. Look at the title. Meganium Z. I'm so excited to play this team. Uh, normally, I do try to space out the people that I feature here on the channel. Uh, I try to space it out so I can feature as many different creators as possible, but... I did just feature Berm. Berm's Trico team was super tight. But if I see, I'm going through my sub feed and I see that Berm has crafted Meganium, one of my favorite starters of all time, I'm going to have to play the Spice. I'm going to have to play the Spice. So we're playing Meganium today and it's really cool. So you got Psy Spam here, but you also have Azu with Sap Sipper. So that way Petal Blizzard can go into the Azu and proc your Sap Sipper. Really cool. You also have Azu with Aqua Jet to proc Mudsdale. With weakness policy, there's a lot happening with this particular team. So I'm keen to see what we could do. So if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you're sub for more content like this in the future. I post every day around 11.30 a.m. EST. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that way you know when new vids go live and you don't miss a thing. We're quickly approaching that 10,000 sub goal, so all help is appreciated. Also, be sure to leave a like and a comment because that helps push this video out in the algorithm and allows more people that are interested in this kind of VGC content to find the channel, come over and hang out, have a good time, and I appreciate it immensely. Finally, question of the day. Of the Gen 2 starters, which of them is your favorite stage one so like cyndaquil totodile or chikorita which is your favorite mine's obviously chikorita i love meganium it's one of my favorite starter pokemon let me know yours in the comments below but let's see what we could do here with this spice that berm has crafted up all right um huh like kind of want to go with like this kind of deal and then bring... Ah, do I want to bring Azu? I'm kind of leaning more toward... Not a lot of great options for me here. Gonna be honest. Huh. I think Trick Room, unfortunately, might just be necessary here might just be a requirement and we use meganium as a screen setter this game i think that might just be our play i i don't know though this is kind of a tricky one Kind of a tricky one, I'm not going to lie. Shen Pound Ogre Pond is the lead here. Lamora is actually kind of a cracked Pokemon now, I'm not going to lie. Either of these two Pokemon are going to cause uh, spikes to go down, which is good. I'm going to Meteor Beam over into the Ogre Pond. That's perfect. That's what we want to see. His Trick Room goes down now. We get the proc off our power herb. Meteor Beam is going to go off and probably KO? Oh, we are so close. Trick Room goes down. Nice. That's a good turn for us. So we Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam and I think we just go for a Sludge Bomb. Or we could go for an Earth Power. 
I think Earth Power plays better into the rest of their team if they were to swap. Sludge Bomb has Stab, though. I'm gonna go Sludge Bomb. Overpond's just gonna go for the Spiky. That's fine. on the Chen Pao. I'm gonna get Meganium in, actually, and just go for a spiky shield this turn. And they just give us the battle. Okay, we didn't even get the opportunity. Glamora is honestly super underrated. I think it's such a good Pokemon right now. Such a good Pokemon right now. Okay, so we kind of sort of have to... We kind of have to commit. Ooh, but they have, uh, they have Torkoal. I don't really want to commit to Trick Room if I don't have to. I'm, oh, I'm leaning toward this lead again. I'm leaning toward this lead again. Um, from here, Meganium obviously has to come. And I'm kind of leaning toward Mudsdale. But with that Torkoal, I really just don't want to have to deal with any of that kind of shenanigan. We do have Protect on it, I think that's our play. We just Protect the Indeedee this turn. Helping hand. Okay. They snarled. Do they miss Glamora? Because that would be tight. They don't. They did a lot of damage. However, we get boosted back to normal. And we get you you for free. Cool. That's what's up. Not for free. I mean, we took quite a bit of damage there with our Glamora, but that's cool. What comes in? Fluttermane. All right. See, now we're getting into the weird territory of like, do I want to pro proc the Trick Room? Do I not want to proc the Trick Room? I kind of want to go for it. Go for the spiky. They go for the D gleam. I'm 
Diddy eats that. And we get Trick Room down. Cool. Um, do I want to get in? I'm going to try and get Meganium in now. And preserve the Ndidi. Okay, they're going to swap. So they're not trying to reverse the Trick Room. Torkoal's going to come in now, isn't it? Sludge Bomb connects. That's good damage. Oh, and we got the poison. That's huge. We got the poison. That's massive. They go for another D-Gleam. They're locked into that. Uh, we obviously just go for Spiky Shield. And we're going to Terra here. And get the Light Screen down. Here comes the Terra from me. They're going to do even less damage now, which is nice. Because uh, they don't have the Flutter main to do any damage. It's kind of big for us. What else are we working with here? We do have Protect on Mudsdale as well. So at this point, we're just trying to stall out the Trick Room. They go for the Eruption. Meganium does hold on. We get the Citrus Berry proc. Love it. Get the light screen down. How many more turns? Two more turns of Trick Room. Yeah. Okay, that makes me want to swap in Ndidi and just go for a Petal Blizzard. Does this KO Meganium is the question. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's cool. That did a surprising amount of damage. Uh, we can now get in the Mudsdale. And we can protect and go for another Petal Blizzard. Meganium goes down, but Trick Room ends this turn.
I think we go for the rock slide because they protect the Torkoal. Yes. Okay. We had to go for the rock slide to cover both bases here. Clutch Bomb connects. Good damage. Rock slide. Obviously not going to hit the Torkoal. Can we flinch the Farigarath? Because that's going to be crucial. No, we can't. Okay. Sunlight fades, though. Big. Big. <laughs> Alright, we go for it with the Mudsdale. If we had that weakness policy proc, it'd be so much better, but we don't, so. <laughs> this is going to be a close one. Because if we can hold out long enough, there's a decent chance. Torko's going to swap. They're going to reset their sun. We're going to spiky. Mm. We should have doubled it. We should have doubled it. Ooh, and our light screen just wore off. That's tragic. I think that's just GG. I think we try to double spiky. That might be our only play. Might be our only play. Ooh, we get the double spike. Okay. Okay. I don't think we survive this though. I don't think we survive it, especially with our light screen being gone. Oh, they crit. Are you joking? I don't know if that was needed. I don't know if it was needed, but man, I even said I didn't want to play the Trick Room game because of that. Oh, that's tough. GG's. GG's. That was close. That was a fun little, like, positional battle. GG's. Dozo. Okay. We have a good answer for this. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Um, I really don't. I really, really don't. Okay. Do we do this in the back? I don't know. We don't have a Dozo answer on this team. So I, I think we just have to kind of shoot for raw damage. Chen Pao Glamora.
I don't know what to do. Click the pedal, Blizzard. Screw it. I don't know. Okay, so they go for the icicle crash. That did a lot. Set the spikes. They go for the mortal spin. They sent more toxic debris. We're sending a lot of toxic debris. Boom. There Glamour is down. Pedal Blizzard. We're going to set even more. We're going to KO our Glamora in the process. Kind of sucks. They have Icicle Crash, so let's get in in DD. There's the Dozo. There's the poison on the Dozo. You love to see it. Let's protect and let's get. What's our Terra on Hatterene? I don't think we win, but, it, you know, we're going to try our darndest. Um, I think we try and get the Reflect down. Dozo's just going to protect. We're fine with that. They go for Throat Chop. Okay. We get the Reflect down. Now we set the Trick Room and we go for another Petal Blizzard. We have to tear a fairy, otherwise we're just going to go down to the throat chop. They uh, they didn't swap though, is the fun thing. Okay. There's the throat chop. That's fine. Petal Blizzard goes off. You know, I'm not mad at the chip. There's the wave crash. And we survived that. Love it. Trick Room goes down. They do have the lefties. That's just annoying. But we're doing a lot. The question now becomes, is this the turn that they swap, right? So we go for Dazzling Gleam, we go for Petal Blizzard. Actually, we could go for a Heal Pulse onto our Ndidi. Oh, should have gone for a Petal Blizzard. I'm not mad at this though. We should have gone for Petal Blizzard, absolutely. But there's the Icicle Crash. There's still a chance here. They lost some HP. That's good. All right, we get Hatterene in. Oh, 
All right, the million dollar question becomes, do they switch? Because I think we're in trouble if they switch, but I think we have to go for the Dazzling Gleam to cover our bases. Okay, they don't switch. That's beautiful. Hold on. They're going to knock themselves out with a wave crash here. And we ate that. Are you joking? We ate it. What's their last Pokemon? Hold on. We ate that. Had Arena one man army. Something the sociable. Is it Tatsugiri? Let's go! You're joking, right? And you're poisoned. <laughs> hey! Expanding force. Bop. You're focus sash though. You are focus sash. Can you do enough damage? Muddy water? Probably not. Nice. You'll go down to poison. GG's. GG's. I thought for sure we were gonna lose this. We did not have Dozo answers, but the poison off the Glamora toxic spikes helped so much. Helped so much. There's a team once more for you guys. Very fun team. Very cool set from Meganium. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to feature the Azu as much. Um, but being able to see it actually do some work into that Don Dozo battle, I for sure thought we were losing to Don Dozo because this just doesn't have great answers for it. But we managed with the Reflect and the Petal Blizzard to get the spikes out and start chipping away with the Glamora stuff. Very, very cool. I very, very, very much like this team. This is really solid stuff. Meganium, super, super fun. I, I I recommend it, guys. Try it out. Try it out. Cool stuff, Berm. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. People over there hanging out, playing Pokemon, sharing reg F teams like this one that might get featured in future videos. So if that's your jam, check it out over there. And if you want to see anything else from me, check out any of the videos that you see here on screen. But until next time, peace.